Jello tubers. I'm at a junkyard. Um, we've been to this one a few times. This is out in Idaho. I'm out here on a getaway from Oregon for just a few days. And um, yeah, I'm at this uh, bulldoze here and one of the first one I've gone to. And I got a throttle bracket off of it. I don't know if that will work with my uh, setup, but it's a right start in the or a start in the right direction, probably. Um, trying to find something I can just bolt on um, because you know the carburetor I'm using and the intake are factory stuff. So got to be a bracket somewhere. I'm debating on taking this cable, but this one looks a little chewy, much like the rest of the plastic stuff in this thing. I don't know if this is an Idaho thing or. I mean, look at that, just, just gone. Um, I'm like, what in tarnation? Does this have two fuel lines? What? It's a weird setup. Uh, anyways, I'm just picking parts from this uh, 460 here. Looks like a 460, anyways. Uh, oh, this is, I think it looks like a 7.5, so it'll be a 460. Looks like a 4 or oh, it could be a 400, I'm not sure. Anyways, I got the part from that. I also took the uh, temperature sensor pigtail from this because I mine is kind of janked up on the junkyard truck. So, my next adventure is I'm going to scan some of these bull noses and brick noses and see if there's anything good out of them and take what I can with the tools that I have. And, uh, yeah. And then uh, probably later this afternoon I'm going to start heading back home, but... I wanted to come out here. I always try and go to the junkyard before I uh, go home. Um, yeah, and especially these ones out here. I almost want to move out to Idaho because there's the, their junkyards out here are just huge. Oh, someone had a carburetor fire. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll bring it back here in a minute. All right, tubes. I'm at another jalopy jungle here in Idaho. I love these things. First bullnose I look at, or actually second one, I looked at that one down there at the end. That was a straight six. I'm like, Pfft. this is gonna throw a two with a two barrel. Exactly what I have on the junkyard truck. Except this one's got some uh, nonsensical save the environment stuff, which never did anyway. So uh, this has exactly the throttle bracket I need. I think it has the same manifold that I'm using. It looks like it. Two barrel, um, and I'm taking the throttle. Okay, this one's in good shape. It's, it's got a pretty good throw on it. I like that. And that bracket is about ready to come off. So let's see if we can get that off of there. It looks like that ground cable is kind of stopping me. From, there we go. It's been a half-inch socket. On this is the third one so far. This right there. That's a job done right there on the junkyard truck. This is the exact same setup I'm doing. So we need to unhook that other end of the cable. Oh, hey, look at that extra clearance. So this, oh, look at this. I'm going to take this truck apart. Okay, flathead screwdriver. You can pop this out of its hole and then out and then away she goes this truck has the exact same style aluminum uh, frame sliding back windows my 82 what year is this this is the explorer model i bet you this is an 82 Manufactured 83. Eh. Close enough. I have two other throttle cables that I took. I'll throw in my hoard. I didn't pay for them. They yeah, didn't charge me for it. So I was like, oh, really? So I like about this. If you got a bracket or something, they usually don't charge you because you've already paid the emission fee and they're like, well, go ahead, take it. And I'm like, oh, okay. So this here, if this runs me 10 bucks, I got 10 bucks in my wallet. In my pocket. Yeah, this is exactly what I need. Yeah, that looks like the same intake manifold that I have. I took off that 78 Granada. 
This is the radiator this one has in it. No AC, basic butt liquor model. No offense if anybody else has it, but uh, that's what we call it. Yeah, this one would probably uh, crapped out and they're just like, just packing down the, the pasture out there. You know, and that was it. Yeah, this, this had its carburetor, but someone kind of took it apart. I'm almost tempted to Oh, maybe that's where my vacuum advance goes. Cause I plugged it into that port right there and it was like, ah, uh, yeah, don't. Yeah, because this came around and plugged into the distributor. You know, let's take that. Yeah, let's get over it. I forgot what else I was talking about, but, uh, you know, I need this. I think if that's, because I have the same carburetor. So, yeah, that's, that's it. So I'll try plugging that into there. Cause the last time I plugged it in here and it, man, it pulled that freaking distributor to like zero after, or zero top dead center, not before. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um. Oh yeah, I was thinking about taking this, but it looks a little kind of messed up. I don't know, maybe it's all okay. Can solder our wire on there. The reason why I'm gonna take this is this is like a, an idle, an idle up solenoid for when you have AC, but this is a non-AC truck. I don't know if I can get that thing off of there. I don't have any stuff. Eh, you know what? I'm sure we can find one somewhere or even possibly get one new. There we go. We got that. I'm going to go look around when I'm out here because I got a couple more hours before I'm going to uh, say goodbye to my sister and start heading home. But, uh, yeah, I should have brought another water for me with me from the car. I'm getting thirsty. I'm gonna go peruse around and see what else they got out here, and then uh, start hightailing it. Okay, I'm leaving the junkyard right now. I got that vacuum hose. It's 10 a.m. and it's 80 degrees out. Um, I got the vacuum hose, and um, I gotta turn this AC up a little bit. Oh God. Sorry about the noise, Tibbs. Um, I got that bracket, the cable, um, and uh, the vacuum line, five bucks. And it was a dollar to get in, and the dollar I had change in my center console. And then I had cash, so. <laughs> it's a cheap, pretty run. Um, I got what I needed. I have some extra brackets for other stuff. I'm gonna throw in my hoard. Um, I got one for an Econoline two barrel truck. I've got one that came off of, uh, what was the other one that came off of? I think it came off a four barrel, 460. If I remember it, I'll write them down what they were from. Um, but yeah, so I got that. Um, I think in total I spent, uh, eh, the last place to get in was a buck. Well, both of these places are a dollar to get in. And I used just change I had. Um, so I think I spent five, six seven bucks to get what i need um and it cost me 18 dollars to get out from vernonia oregon to uh caldwell idaho actually i'm in napa right now but it cost me 18 bucks to go uh 400 some miles and i was telling the guy in there every time i come out here to visit my sisters i go to the these junkyards here and uh you know, if I, happen, if I know that I need something, I come out here and check them out. I usually, actually I come out anyways. The last time I was out here, well, a few times ago, I came out with the truck and I uh, was like, oh, I need some uh, bull nose taillights. And I found a nice set out here. This water's really good. I should have brought another one. I'm like parched. All the coffee and water I had at Sherry's earlier, it's gone, so. Uh, yeah, anyways, I thought I'd make this short little uh, video for you guys. I'm going to try and edit it up and uh, upload it before I leave. It'll go on uh, the Johnson's Garage channel here. I'll just put it up. I haven't put any vid real videos up for a while, so. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to have another bottle of water. I'm, I was going to go comb around some more, but I don't have my uh, straw hat and an input... Uh, uh, stuff on to keep from keep me from burning 
I'm Irish and Scottish and European. And, uh, I burn bad. Um, so I after I got what I needed, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm out of there. Anyways, I gotta go.